O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, Tis meet that man should yield to God the life he owes. Alleluia. No shame to own the crucified. Nay, tis our immortality that we confess our God who died and for him die. Alleluia. Beholding his predestined crown, into death's arms the martyr goes. Dying he conquers death overthrown, overthrows his foes, alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true, grant us brave faith, a spirit pure. That for your name, your cross in view, we may endure. Alleluia. Lord, you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy, me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my fence. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, and in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, but a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of ever sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spend. In your goodness show favour to son, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar, 
Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Surely God of Israel, the Saviour, you are a God who lies hidden. They will be put to shame and disgraced, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. But Israel is saved by the Lord, saved forevermore. You will never be ashamed or disgraced through endless ages. For this is the word of the Lord, the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken in secret in some dark place. I have not said to Jacob's sons, search for me in vain. I am the Lord, I speak the truth. I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near. You who have escaped from the nations. They know nothing who carry around their idols made of wood and keep on praying to a God that cannot save them. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves who proclaimed this beforehand, who foretold it long ago. Was it not I, the Lord? There is no God but me, a God of justice, a saviour. There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear it. It is truth that goes forth from my mouth, a word beyond recall. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. They will say, In the Lord alone are victory and power, and to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come victory and glory for all Israel's sons. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cry with joy to the Lord of the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Can before him sing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made as we belong to him. You are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in all our troubles so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Just as we have a share in Christ's many sufferings, so also through Christ we share in his great help. The Lord is my strength, I will sing praise to him. The Lord is my strength, I will sing praise to him. 
is my salvation. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength. I will sing praise to him. Anyone who hates his soul in this world will save it for the eternal life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour would freeze from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us our tree from fear and say from the hands of our foes we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Anyone who hates his soul in this world will save it for the eternal life. Through the martyrs who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who took up your cross, Grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs, washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those 
who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and ever living God, who went down the church with the witness of martyrs, grant we pray that through the intercession of blessed Peter Torod, we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, and like him be steadfast in all trials. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.